I'm Andrea Petito. Uh, I'm an artist. I'm currently represented by the Addison Art Gallery. And um, I generally do a lot of different kinds of representational painting with oils. I'm sort of known for using a palette knife, although I actually use a lot of tools. But I do use a palette knife a lot, and, it, and I, I like to build up textural surfaces. I've always liked to do figural work. I really like body language, gesture, and emotional content that is portrayed by those things. And so I was looking for quite a while for a way to express that without getting hung up on identity. And it seemed to me as I worked on this that getting rid of the face was the secret. So I felt there needed to be a level of abstraction that would make it okay for any viewer to look at a painting and not see a face and not feel uncomfortable about it. So I have, you know, these are all kind of what I do. This is the body language thing. I, I had photographs of these three women and I just liked the, you know, the one hip up thing. So I just lined them up and I decided to put them all in white. The, the background is where all the color is carried. So that they're looking at something. I used some sort of a stencil to help me create a structure back there. I couldn't tell you what that is. I, I leave that up to the viewer to decide what they think it is or how they feel about it. I really enjoy listening to what people see when they look at my paintings because I, I'm trying to suggest things without being specific. And that allows people to bring their own ideas to it. This is one of my, I call, it's kind of like a grunge painting. It's got a lot of texture, a lot of heavy texture, which I get a lot by putting in colors and scraping them down and then using a, a palette knife or some other types of tools. You know, I can pull down, I can start here and just pull down some texture. And it makes these really nice gritty areas. And my, the trick was to just get her to work into it. Everybody that looks at this painting really loves the foot, and I have to agree. This one, I think, is a, a, a really interesting piece. So every day for a break, I would get this canvas out, and I, I had my, uh, just turned my easel around, and I just started painting my organizer. A lot of what I do is just technical. Balancing color, getting composition, lights and darks, cool and warm, and that kind of thing. So this just came about as me taking a break from doing everything else. It was a challenge to me to figure out how to demonstrate these things because it takes a long time to make these paintings. I, I do uh, an underpainting, it dries for a week, and then I do some more, and I let that dry for a while, and then I do some more. So it's not something that I can demonstrate in an hour very well. But what I did decide to do is I'm gonna do a demo of how I do an underpainting, and then I'm gonna use a different one that I made a week ago so that it'll be dry. And I'm going to have a very simple just to show the basic idea of how I start a painting, I'm going to paint a pear because pears are beautiful organic shapes and it's got to be simple. I use a lot of tools and one of them I use is a roller and it pulls color across and you get sort of a line, you get some lines and I scrape things. So there's a lot of texture. So when I'm painting, a lot of times I'll take a figure and then, and then it gets too specific, it gets too real and then I obscure it and then I start to bring it back. So I do a lot of, I call it um, destruction and reincarnation. It's just kind of, you destroy it and then you bring it back and you destroy it and you bring it back. And the more you do that, the more rich it becomes. And then it's still there, it's still there. And then you have to decide how much of it you wanna bring back and how much of it you wanna let go. Um, and that's really the art, I mean, to me, that's, that's the most interesting part, I think.